on the western slopes of West Virginia's highest peak lies a meadow home to the Experience Learning Center and to the Almost Heaven Star Party. The observing fields at Almost Heaven Star Party are at 4,000 feet above sea level. From the main yurt looking north, you take a short path to the bathhouse, which houses the restrooms and showers. This is the brown shingled building. From the main yurt looking to the southwest, on the left you see the gravel driveway that splits the observing fields for the Almost Heaven Star Party. The circular concrete pad you see is a new outdoor yurt being constructed. We are now panning across the observing fields. The lower field you see here will house tent and car camping. The upper field will house RVs. The gravel road splits those two fields from the southern field where it's tent camping only. The main yurt is home to our educational programs as well as all dining options. There will be no electricity on the field. You will have to provide your own. There will be recharging options near the main yurt. When you're coming down 33 and 28 from Petersburg or Seneca Rocks, you will see this intersection that has a signage for Spruce Knob Lake. You are not going to take that to the Experience Learning Center. This is the best way to Spruce Knob and to Spruce Knob Lake, but not the best way to the Experience Learning Center. Also, this is a great location for your one home-cooked meal option within a relatively close proximity to the summit. And this is Gateway Restaurant. And depending on how you drive the Forest Service roads, it'll be 20 or 30 minutes up and down the mountain. For most of you, all roads will lead to Circleville. This is on 28 South. So if you're coming from Franklin, Petersburg, Seneca Rocks, everything 28 South, to get to Experience Learning Center, you need to come to Circleville, okay? 28 South to Circleville, all points east, unless you are south of here, but I'm thinking most of you are going to be coming from points east and north to Circleville. Remember, cell service gets real thin over here. If your GPS relies on cellular connection, it's probably going to fail you over here. I would plan on that. Also remember, gas and food are a little thin over here. You have a few Dollar General type stores, but you're not going to have what you're used to. So get what you need in Franklin, Petersburg, and be prepared for having few services, especially maybe on a weekend, Sundays. A lot of places are closed on Sundays and holidays. So just be prepared for that. Congratulations, you've made it to the turn for the Experience Learning Center. The first S curve that you come into after the Monongahela National Forest sign is where you'll find the turn to Experience Learning Center. The sign is about two tenths of a mile. It's a great place to ride motorcycles too. The sign is about two tenths of a mile ahead of the turn. Where those motorcycles turned is where you're turning. Let's go take a look at the road up to Experience Learning Center. 
We just made the turn onto Sawmill Road. There's a sign for Sawmill Road at the turn. And you can see here, we're six miles to Experience Learning Center. The road itself is at best one and a half lanes wide and it is paved for a period of time. I'll show you where it turns into gravel. It's a forest road. The gravel's in pretty good condition most of the time. It can be a little inconsistent, but most vehicles have no trouble at all with navigating the gravel portion of this road. It is not rutted deeply or has uh, have any deep potholes. So let's go up Sawmill Road. The chip and seal pavement largely ends after about 3.8 miles. It ends roughly up through there. It has some areas where it starts to break down pretty significantly. And this is what you're looking at for the Forest Service Road. For the most part, it's pretty consistent, crushed gravel, very nice, compact, easy to drive. It'll be a little dusty. Just as a FYI, this is the vehicle that I use on this trip, a Honda CRV. So it's no problem. So we're almost to Experience Learning Center. Let's get on up to the gate. Okay, we just came up Sawmill Run, crested, and there is Back Ridge Shadows Campground on the left, and across from it is the Spruce Knob Mountain Center of Experience Learning. And this is the driveway that you're going to turn up. There'll probably be AHSP -AH signs here. We're here in the May, June Novak weekend, but this is our access to Experience Learning Center. Don't miss it. If you're coming up at night, it's easily missed. That's why I really encourage you to give yourself plenty of time, get here in daylight, plenty of daylight hours, but don't miss this on the right-hand side of the road as you come up, crest on top of the hill, this driveway is Experience Learning Center. A few ruts that you might slow down on, you cover a lot of elevation in that gravel section. So a couple of cross-road drainage ruts and some exposed sandstone that you might want to just slow down for. Okay, this is the driveway into Experience Learning Center. You can actually see the observing fields right ahead. There is no way to sugarcoat this. You are going to go slow on this road. This is actually one of the better sections. It's deeply rutted, a lot of exposed rock, and in wet conditions, you're going to be dodging some, some slicky mud spots, okay? But again, remember, I'm in a little Honda CRV, and it has no problem navigating this. You're going to go about five miles an hour, maybe up to 10 on this driveway. But the reward is in front of you, a beautiful field to observe the night sky. Let's go see where the uh, registration tents are going to be set up. You will have taken a right-hand turn down here where you see the Experience Learning Center vehicles. You'll probably see the a a almost heaven star party tent, registration tent sitting about right here when you arrive and check in there and congratulations you've made it to your home for the almost heaven star party and wherever you are here whether you're on the upper field or the lower field look at these views it's just spectacular and you can only imagine what it looks like at night as the Milky Way is traversing the southern sky so look forward to seeing you at the uh, Almost Heaven Star Party 